All right, so what is a fuel cell, hydrogen fuel cell specifically? I looked on the internet. There's plenty of text. There's plenty of documents, but there isn't a whole lot of footage, uh, in-depth, close-in, high-resolution footage. And uh, I'm going to rectify that. So this is uh, eBay striking again. I watch it like a hawk and sometimes I can find some real treasures. So what we got here is a Ballard Nexa hydrogen fuel cell. This is one of the very early ones. One of the field prototypes. Um, here's the specs. And normally, well, back in the day, these would definitely go for a pretty penny. But, uh, I found an auction, and I got it for about 174 Unfortunately, uh, shipping was about that, too. So, um, so what I'm going to do is just do a slow walk-around type deal. And then we'll do a in-depth scan of uh, some of the circuit boards. Now, I'm outside in my front yard, so who knows what the natives will do. But hopefully it's such a nice day, no one's really concerned. Sometimes we get people walking down the street saying, Oh, hi, we never see you. because I'm working all the time. What do you expect? Anyway. They'll be like, oh, what is that? Is that some kind of engine? That's fine. Nobody hardly knows what this thing is. So that's what this video is for. So here's the other side. Now, if you want to know exactly what all these parts are, I'll include a uh, link to the manual, some I think some university person put it up. I'll include a link to their inclusion. So we'll check out the boards. This may be a little wonky because it's so bright out here. I can barely see what my camera's picking up here. So. So these are made in Canada, and the boards apparently have uh, names, like this is Cassandra Rev Revision 2, and uh, this is Paris Revision 2, so I'll go over the boards. This little board goes behind the big board, and the big board is actually not a complete square, it's cut at the corner. And it's cockeyed on there. So, um, that's all the interesting things going on. So, what was good about these is they would uh, push out about 1200 watts at max. And, uh, It'd be at 24 volts unregulated. So I think I can take this and put it on a charge controller for 24 volts and, and then regulate it fine. Um, some more details. That's a hydrogen uh, inlet right there. So my current problem is uh, getting a hold of hydrogen. Uh, it's not exactly common, especially here in the rural districts. Um, so I've been trying to research how to make it. Came across some documents uh, from a Air Force General. It was on eBay too. This is back in the 1960s. 
It looks like the Air Force was using um, chilled compressed hydrogen. Uh, that may be a little too techy right, right now for things. What I want to look at is um, getting a, a weather balloon, a big old weather balloon, and then using uh, you know, solar and uh, making a uh, cracking. HCO into uh, hydrogen oxygen and then capturing the hydrogen in a weather balloon. I'm thinking that might be the ticket. Uh, and then this takes a very small, they use a different measurement for gas pressure, but it doesn't take very much. A uh, weather balloon will definitely exhibit enough pressure to get it going. So that's a future project. So stay tuned. I don't exactly have a lot of time for um, all these projects, but as can one can. I'll try to put up a video every day, see how far I can get on Broken Streak. Um, so anyway, this thing, uh, there's a shelf life. Um, you should read the manual on this. Apparently. If you let them sit too long, they can go bad. And it's very possible this is shot. And if it is, uh, then um, it takes like a technician to reset it and stuff. So even though it looks nice and whatever, um, it could very well be a hunk of junk. Because I'm sure it just sat. There's a, a filter. So what I'm looking for, I don't see it. This isn't my first uh, rodeo with these things, so what I'm looking for is, oh, that's fine. There's actually an outlet for the exhaust uh, oxygen, and did I say oxygen? I meant H2O. Uh, the uh, So we got trucks, we got airplanes, we got birds, we got all kinds of stuff going on, so. You thought I was joking about the natives, huh? No, we got all kinds of stuff going on from planes. Maybe even trains. We got a railroad track not too far. So anyway, let's uh, finish up this video. There's a book that came out by uh, Tom Coppell. I think he was a famous news reporter. But it's informal view of the history of Ballard and uh, what happened. And I guess the present... Uh, uh, administrators of it aren't as aren't the same as the old school ones so sort of a political thing uh, going on and uh, Ballard I don't think makes these anymore um, they've gone on the other things so you can probably get these on the surplus market for not that much um, Just like I did. Uh, so, do your research. Know what you're doing before you do it. Um, don't get caught. So, I know the big 
uh, push now is for lithium technologies and whatever, but uh, I really do think hydrogen fuel cells, at least in some applications, would be excellent, especially if you can home make the homemade hydrogen. So, I'm already uh, into solar uh, technology and whatever, doing my own thing. I've got research done on wind. That's a wind, uh, a wind generator, but. Uh, here is not very good unless I had one up on the roof or something for wind. So I got some other things going on, some other alternative sources of energy. So I'm all into that stuff. Just kind of a homebrew, you know, tinker, inventor, slash, you know, researcher. So anyway, so I think we'll end this video. It's been long enough. At least you had some good. I want to try to get all the angles because. What's going to happen is people are going to be like, oh, finally, I get to see up close what's going on. And then I'll miss some angle. So hopefully I've got pretty much all the, the scenes I need. See what I'm saying? <laughs> I'd rather do this video in a in a laboratory or something like that, but alright, we got crickets chirping. That's probably my audience. They're like, oh no, it's boring. Okay, well, my channel is uh, Military Industrial Museum, and we review all sorts of stuff. I'm trying to go more into uh, repurposing surplus equipment and you know, doing your own power generation and things like that um, and doing integrated systems that uh, you know for example you'd use the solar to make hydrogen and use the hydrogen to make a fuel cell run use a fuel cell, cell run to charge batteries which are also co-charged by solar and then using that to run maybe hydroponics or aquaponics or you know just doing these these uh, integrated systems is, that are uh, based on conversions converting one thing to another here's a I can't really uh, open the book and look in there to the copyright reasons but as far as the cover and these uh, these inner inner leaves and stuff the book cover um, definitely check that out if you want to look at this book these books are really expensive I think I got this for about four dollars it's just um, it's not technical per se but it kind of lets you know what the heck happened at that country or that company in that country of Canada it's pretty interesting I haven't finished reading it but some good stuff okay well it's in this video um, I'm glad I could help you get a good gander at this unusual technology. And uh, it's 2018 May. Uh, how long is it going to take until we all have home hydrogen and home solar? You know, the technology is there. It's just distributing it. <clears throat> it's just a lot of bottlenecks in distribution. All right now. This is my willow tree. <laughs> okay. Thank you.